The mission of Dieter is to open up theology to the arts and the arts to theology. If you look at many of the theological accounts of the last 500 years in Western culture, they will talk about philosophy, they will talk about economics, they will talk about social theory, anthropology, the growth of science, but the arts very often are left out of that picture. I believe the arts have furnished us with extraordinary clues as to what's been going on for the last 400 years, but also can help us get out of some of the worst cul-de-sacs that modernity has got us into. Let me give you an example of the kind of thing I found very illuminating. It concerns the difference between the way we see the world and the way we hear the world. The way we see the world, things occupy bounded spaces, and you can't have two things in the same space at the same time. You can't see them as distinct. One will hide the other, or they'll merge. That's the way we see the world. That gives rise to a way of understanding the relationship between the two things in a competitive or zero-sum way. So you have to say God and the world. The more God is around, the less the world can be itself. The world has to shrink. The more of God, the less of us. Modernity has been haunted by that idea. The world that we hear works very differently. If I play a note on the piano and listen to that note, what I hear fills the whole of my heard space. It's not in a zoned space. It's everywhere in my heard space. If I play another note on the piano with that first note, that second note fills the same space, yet we hear it as distinct. You can have two different things in the same space at the same time in the world that you hear. But it gets better than that because one sound very often will set off another. Two strings together vibrating, one will free the other to be the string it was made to be. What you have there is a non-competitive understanding of freedom, where freedom is not about me having my space and you having your space and competing for the same space. Freedom is about being freed by the other person to be the person you were created to be. Christian faith says the more God is involved in our lives, the freer we'll be. Now, if you think with the eye alone, that's very hard. Think with the ear, it suddenly becomes understandable. What we have then is a way of understanding freedom that subverts the typically modern understanding of freedom. Music gives us that model. And that scripture, particularly in the New Testament, opens up because that is what we're being told about freedom. Freedom is not about you on your own. It's about someone loving you enough to free you and supremely God loving us enough to free us. Mm -hmm.